Colonel Hunt, followed by Tiger Tensing, leaves the aircraft which brings the triumphant Everest expedition back to Britain. London Airport is crowded with hundreds of well-wishers and nearly a hundred pressmen. Posing with the rest of his party, Colonel Hunt carries the ice axe used on the last lap of the assault. Tensing's wife and two children flew in with the team. Mr. Pugh's little daughter rushes to greet her father back from the roof of the world. Eagerly, wives and relatives gather round to welcome the heroes home again. Greetings too for Edmund Hillary, the lanky New Zealander, who, with Tensing, reached the summit of the great mountain. Questioned about the main reason for the success of the expedition, their leader, Colonel Hunt, modestly pays tribute to the many who tried but failed in previous assaults. Uh, I'd unhesitatingly say that the basic reason for our success is the accumulation of um, experience and information uh, provided for us by all our illustrious predecessors on the mountain. Edmund Hillary speaks of the main difficulty and troubles encountered on the final attempt to reach the summit. Um, I think main worry throughout the rest of the uh, actual ascent was the question of the supply of oxygen. Mm -hmm. We uh, kept constant watch on our oxygen supply and the usage, and even when we were on top, we um, were very worried as to whether we had enough to get down again. Fortunately, we did. And when got now he tells of his feelings when he reached the top. I think personally my main one was a relief that uh, we got there. <laughs> Asked about the report that Tiger Tensing saved his life during the ascent, Hillary says, um, Tenzing and I had been climbing together a good deal, and I think we'd become a fairly uh, happy pair. Mm. And this was just one example of how a, a pair up together our unit, and how uh, one is always protecting the other. I was leading down the ice fall, and uh, when I was crossing a crevasse, a large lump of ice gave way on which I was standing, and I set off down, the down a crevasse. Well, Tenzing, who was following, um, had the rope tight in a very short time, and pulled me up so I didn't go very far. Tensing, who can speak no English, is asked his reactions to his magnificent achievement. He's very happy. Mm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>